Hi, welcome to Boat Live. We're going to take a visit in here today and we promise not to buy anything. I've left all my credit cards in the phone, so let's go have a look around and see what offers they've got on in the bike in in the boat show even, not the bike show. That's next week. But yeah, visit to the boat show today. <laughs> Well, I know this is primarily a sailing channel, but as soon as you walk through the doors, you cannot help to look at the beautiful shapes on this gorgeous lady here. Just look at this. Sort of a cross between a Simmons and a Reva. And look at that lovely back end. Now, is that a nice arse or what? That is beautiful. I just love the inside on this. Well, if you're thinking of coming to the boat show, just look at this shop here that is selling lines upon lines of sheets and every single thing that you could possibly want. And pay only half the marked price. If you can't find the line you want here, then I guess it doesn't exist. And here, effectively, we've got the Antichrist of Sailing, the Powerboat Club. But seriously, this is how we started off on powerboats. From the boat show, I've been told that this is called a wingle wanger. In actual fact, I really struggled to pick up my mooring voice. And look how easy this would be if it was floating and sticking up and you could just pass your buoy through it or your uh, line through it. Great idea. There's something that will be of interest to all yachties, wine. Because how often do we go around crawling on other people's boat looking through for their good wine stash? So, yep, the boat show has got it covered. This one is for a friend of ours, Simon Bursey. You know you're looking for a canal boat? We think we may have found the canal boat for you. Just look at this beautiful thing here. Having to pass through a little window, but look at the interior of this. You would feel at home in this, that's for sure. Well, I've got a small little blow-up tender and apparently they are marketing this beautiful thing here as a tender for a boat. It's not far off the size of my boat. I think what's caught me about this particular boat here is the wonderful sun canopy that's fitted on the top. A beautiful, beautiful design. Uh, this would be a wonderful little river explorer, but the sun canopy touch of class. Just love these classic sailing dinghies here. But just look at the quality of the varnish and gloss on this boat. My goodness me. How wonderfully presented is this. All of the lines laid out are very clean indeed. Again, lovely classic sailing boat here. I don't know whether this is called a Drascom Lugger. Hopefully somebody will um, correct me on this particular one. Again, look at the quality of the varnish inside here. Absolutely stunning. Give me a minute. this lovely lady mahogany and oak and first registered in 1950 and look at the lovely lines on this
Let's have a look at the inside. Now there's something quite beautiful. Vico Yachts S30 and a Polish built sailing boat. I have to say, this is a 30 foot. Look how clean and the, the feel of the fiberglass on this is very, very beautiful lines. No traveller, so just a simple in the middle. I also like the idea of this wheel because you can walk straight past the wheel without having to squash your tummy around it. An open back design. Beautifully made canopy and now proceeding down in stairs. All very light and airy at the moment. Oh, it's got a wonderful new boat smell. Rather cosy front berth. So what do you think of the layout, Max? Um. I have to say, uh, the laminate doors put me off a little bit. The bathroom is beautifully laid out. That is very clean. This looks a nice size. Come oh. have a look in here. This is a really nice layout for a rear qu quarter berth. But there's a good size in here. There's even a window the other side. Yeah, a little window. It's always nice to have natural lighting. Oh, it's down in here. Oh gosh, yeah. So yeah, lots of room in here. That's quite a nice design. Storage there. Good spacey cupboards. Should I come back in half an hour? No. Yeah, no. <sighs> but very, very nicely polished no. top. I would doubt it. It's strange what you see at a boat show being sold. We saw beds for houses, vibrating massagers for bad backs. What did I come away with? An egg whisk, an hand egg whisk. This was my purchase at the boat show. Exciting, eh? And no, I wasn't joking about full-blown house beds for sale. Here's a rather beautiful idea. This little air conditioning unit here. Just give you an idea of size. And that is blowing out lovely cold air and the size of your hand. Yeah, within the next very beautiful. I have to say, this is one of my regular online buying shops so I've regularly bought from Pirate's Cave and they've actually got a display here today. And this is the way of the future. Look at the lightweight e-propulsion units. The only thing that puts me off at the moment is the price but hopefully they will come down. That is a definite thing for my shopping list. So I've got an e -perb. I think the idea of having an AIS so you can actually track back to the person. As you know, the man overboard button just gives you a GPS location. This one gives you a live updated feedback to. Wonderful idea. One of those on each life jacket would be an absolute superb idea for safety and man overboard. Big beautiful lady has just caught my interest. And even more interestingly, look, a double overhead cam complete with a supercharger underneath. Look how gorgeous that is. Let me introduce you to Sylvia. Look at this beautiful lady.
But yeah, the bottle of there, in the back of there with a bottle of bubbly would be absolutely wonderful. And of course, no boat show would we complete without the princess having some of their lovely boats here. Not my cup of tea, but you have to say, it is nice to see these beautiful British boats ploughing on. For those with bigger yachts, SUR Marine, some wonderful looking tenders here. I say tender, not that I could get this on mine. But a very beautiful quality. There's something a little bit different. A hovercraft. Why have a tender when you could have a hovercraft? It might not fit on your... Uh... <laughs> on your <dabbies. laughs> Let's test. For those of you who are trailer sailors or use a trailer to put a boat in, you know how difficult it is putting it in with those horrible little plastic rollers. Look at this for a wonderful innovative design. How easy would that be? Each one independently rocking. And then at the front, an independent tilt. That would make getting something on a trailer so easy. Here's a rather in interesting combination, should I say. We've got all of this lovely padded section up of the front. Very long, sleek boat. Very unusual, I imagine this gets up on the plane very, very easy. And then your three rocking horse mount. It's an interesting and unusual concept I've not seen before. On this one, as well as a solid deck, we have a lift with a tent on the front. Wonderful idea. An interesting looking canopy on it as well. Then down for some wakeboarding. Boat for all seasons, possibly. Sailors? You may not realise that you need a dock box from an NRT Marine, but believe me, you do. Fantastic for putting all the tranquilments of sailing in, and especially good for putting your errant husband in. Well, we've all seen outboard engines, but nothing gets much crazier than this. Look at this great big beastie here. A V12, 600 horsepower. No doubt there's some mad American somewhere. We'll put four of those on the back of his rib. But that is an impressive piece of engineering. V12 outboard. Every boat show, of course, you've got to have a gin. Everybody knows. It's a staple drink. Don't you agree? You've got to have a gin. Cheers, folks. <laughs>And here's an interesting idea, a solid tender that bolts in half. This would make stowing on your deck really easy. I thought these were electrical generators. Look at this. This is a 10 kilowatt engine. Now, how small and neat would that be in your yacht? 
and that's the equivalent of about 28 horsepower apparently, but the size of it is absolutely stunning. Get on the trailer. Dylan, this is what I need to get to grips with this year. So here we go, bling, bling, there you go. Right, so that's what you that non-foiling boat is doing 17 knots. 